Well, hello friends. How are we doing today? In this video, we are going to see how I drew portrait number six from start to finish, complete with my commentary and my thought process behind everything I did here. Now, before I continue any further, let me just remind you, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. That way we let YouTube know that we like this sort of thing and we want to see more. Now, this video, it's going to be really long, uh, but there's a good reason behind it because I struggled with this one. And you're going to see why and where and all the problems I had. But at the very end, this is what we ended up with. And I'm fairly happy with it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it to me below. And with that being said, let's see how I drew portrait number six. Okay, everybody, how are we all doing today? Uh, as you can see, we're going to draw this beautiful girl. And truth be told, I'm a little bit nervous about this one because this is going to be a challenge for me. Um, I already know, I already know going into this that this is going to be a challenge. But sometimes. I find that I I pick challenging pictures because I know it's going to teach me something. I know I'm going to learn something about my skills, about drawing. I'm going to learn something by picking something that's hard. And why is this going to be hard for me? Well, a couple reasons. I don't know if I've drawn anybody that has <clears throat> really, really curly hair like this. And I don't, I, I'm not confident with drawing hands. So this person, and the pose is a little different. Her, we're kind of looking up at her. So it's a different pose, curly hair, it's got a hand. So I'm pretty much throwing myself to the wolves here. So what I'm doing is I'm just, because it's a sort of a frame shot, I'm just going to start with this box just to give me an idea of where I want the picture to be. And then I can use this box to imagine the border of the picture and start placing things down. So for example, I can see based on the picture that the hair doesn't go to the very top. The hair goes to about up in here. Right? So I'm going to say maybe the hair is up in here. I'm going to notice the angle the hair comes down. Kind of comes to about here. Right? See how this point hits here on the picture. It's not in the middle of the picture. So it kind of hits there. The hand looks like it's below the middle. So we'll say maybe the hand is probably going to be in around this spot. Okay. Um, looking at the hair and the angle again of this upper corner, kind of looks like it comes maybe down something like this. So I'm looking at this shape, this little triangle on, on the picture. Okay, um, it almost looks like the side of the face, it's not quite, but at the very top where the hair starts to go down, it's divided. There's a little white, the white area of the wall behind her looks like it's probably about in here, right? Probably about that much space compared to the rest, so I'm comparing this space to this space and it looks like the side of the face it's a little little more off to this side of this line so I'm just imagining that and then if this is the, the bottom of the hand right here the chin is probably up in this area again these are all guesses at this point 
okay. Boy, that's going to be small. If that's the chin and that's the top of the head. Wow, that's going to be, uh, I think that's going to be pretty small. So I'm going to imagine maybe just guessing the, the angle of the face, something like in this. Now usually the halfway point between the top of the head and the chin is where the eyes are going to be. So if that's the top of the head and this is the chin, what's the halfway point? There to there, no. So here, so the eyes are going to be somewhere on this line right there'll be an eye over here and there'll be an eye over here so I said that the side of the head will probably be somewhere over here so at this point what we're doing is we're just doing our our guesswork so I'm just guessing um, where's the side of the face going to be at over here. Well, if we draw a line up from the side of the face, kind of to see where it falls. Probably falls, if I look at the white wall at the top, it looks like, and we were to take about the middle area. Just guessing, maybe it'll be somewhere over here. Okay. So chin goes up, side of the face. That's the top of the hair. If these are the eyes, you know, then I'm going to say the brow area. We'll just draw a little line for the where the brow is going to be. And I'm using soft vine charcoal. So I can easily just use a finger like this to uh, erase and minimize things. So we'll have eyes in here. Okay, and I don't know where things are going to go at this point. We're just, we're just guessing. Um, but I tell you what, I'm kind of, I am kind of thrown off by the space I've left. But this is why we do this, is we want to see, is this about the size of the picture that we want? Do we want it bigger? Do we want it smaller? So let me just continue on with my rough guesses. Okay. So if that's the chin. That's going to be the hand and the fingers. See what I'm doing? I'm just taking rough guesses you know the shirt will come down like this like this for the shirt this comes down okay so what I have here is sort of an envelope and based on that envelope we can start imagining things so we'll have hair up in here I'm gonna have hair up in here A curl comes down this way so the hand is going to be up in here 
So it's very rough at this stage. Um, so you just want to trust in yourself. So I'm going to guess, you know, the chin is going to be here. And this is honestly where it's, uh, I'm not sure. I, I tend to draw noses further away from the eyes than I should. So I have to be mindful of that. Okay. I like to start with this area, this little glabella part of the eyes. And then I kind of look to see the angle of the nose. Looks like it comes at this kind of angle. Comes out and then down. Notice I'm trying to keep it relatively uh, blocky at this stage. Just to try and, I'm just trying to put like a placeholder here for things. You know, if that's the nose, then. You got about this much space for the upper lip. You know, maybe the lip starts in here somewhere. And the corner corner of the lip somewhere down. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It looks like the smile kind of, or the mouth kind of slants a little bit downwards. To the outer part of the nose and here. You know, bottom lip will be in here somewhere. Kind of looks like Dora the Explorer, huh? So, again, there's nothing concrete here. This is just uh, trying to see, does this look about right, the proportions? So the chin to the nose is about the nose to that part of the forehead. I noticed that is about correct on the uh, picture. By the way, thank you all for watching. Um, my name is Jeff. This is a new YouTube channel, at least when I'm the time of me filming this. And uh, I thank everybody that subscribed so far. I'm very, very appreciative of all the subs and comments I've been getting on my last videos. Really uh, means a lot to me. As you can see, I do respond to all people that comment. So I'm just using my finger here to kind of just smear in what I've done so far. Um, this is just going to give me a idea of, you know, it's sort of like creating a blurry picture. We're creating a blurry picture and we're, just, we're constantly looking back and forth from here to here and seeing How does it look? Is there things that need to change? You know, we haven't drawn any details yet. I'm just trying to ask myself, is this about 
where I see things. Trying to just draw an overall shape of the hand. You know, fingers come down like this. Fingers are going to go back up somewhere in this area. And again, I mentioned before how I'm not a, I, I'm really uh, intimidated when it comes to hands. So I'm not trying to think of it like drawing a hand. I'm just trying to think of it in shapes. You know, this is sort of like the blocky shape where the fingers might go. This is probably the blocky shape of under the neck. Okay? Just so I can picture in my head that this is where a hand is going to be. Okay? I don't know at this stage if it's going to look good. And I think that's important to mention, especially as beginner portrait artists, that these sort of doubts that we have are completely normal. Okay? Completely normal. So, maybe since I'll, I kind of have a little base here, we'll start dropping in some features and adjusting as we go. So, if I'm going to say the eyes are in this area, I'm just going to start with an eye. So, I'm gonna, usually I like to get trying to find the endpoints. So we got one here. If I'm going to say this is maybe the side of the face over here, the eye is going to come up and it's going to end not quite at the edge. So I'm going to say the eye is going to be, I don't know, we're guessing, okay? We're just guessing. So the eye comes up. Okay. It's not very wide. And she's looking, so I'm trying to look at the little, the white space of the eye. Trying to look at the angle. See, this looks really silly. So, kind of what I was mentioning before on my other videos, self-doubt at this stage of drawing, self-doubt is uh, very, very high. Okay. All right, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now, self-doubt, that's what I was talking about. So the eye, like, you know, everything in me right now is telling me this doesn't look like anything. That doesn't look like her eye. This is going to turn out like a piece of crap. Okay, these are all things going through my head right now. Okay, but one of the things I've learned in doing this 
is that I've heard that voice many, many times. And every single time I've ended up making the drawing look way better than I thought it was going to. Okay? So, especially being a beginner, a lot of us hear that voice and we stop. We don't, we don't continue. We hear that voice and we go, you're right, I, this is, this, there's no way this is gonna look good. And uh, in fact, I'm not even gonna try. Why waste my time? And what I want you to do is tell that voice to shut up. We're not listening to it. All we're doing is looking at a picture and doing our best to try and translate what we see. Okay? Look at that. That doesn't even look like an eyebrow. Looks like a black rainbow. But that's okay. This is all gonna change okay this is just us putting down it doesn't have to look like the person at the stage. I mean it could it would be great if it looked like the person but we are going to be changing a lot of things so at this stage it's okay to not have it down exactly. I'm just asking myself, is this, you know, does this part of the nose, is this coming down far enough? How's this angle right here? You know, that's probably about right, okay? You know, then I'll move over to the other side. Where's the eye? Come over. Looks like the eye, and you're you're constantly asking yourself these questions. Is the other eye about on the same horizontal line? Yeah, it's pretty much on the same horizontal line. Okay, well, where's the eye start? Where's that point start on the picture? Look at the picture. Does it start right where the nose is going to be? No, it's more to the right. Okay, how much to the right? Well, it looks like it's at about this kind of angle. So we're just going to guess and say, we'll start here. Okay, and then I'm going to say the eye is, you know, normally an eye is about the same length or same width as the other eye. So I usually start there as an example. Okay, so maybe about right in kind of here where I thought it was going to be. Now I want to look at this angle. This is looks like it's slightly tilted. Okay, so I'm going to, I have my two points. I have it slightly tilted. So now I know where it starts and where I, where I think it ends. I'm just going to try and draw the shape. Just draw the shape of an eye. I don't want to, I want to kind of maintain the same sort of width, even though I think it might be a little bit big at this point, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm just going to draw what I think is an eye. How much white space is here? Well, I'm going to guess. Usually I guess first and then I worry about measuring after.
All right, I'm not uh, the greatest at eyes. <laughs> um, and what I mean by that is getting an eye to look at you, it's definitely more challenging than it sounds. So I'm just gonna not focus too much on that at this stage. And again, don't freak out too much at this point. Okay? We're not we're not trying to freak out. We're just trying to get something down. It kind of looks like the the Sphinx, huh? In Egypt. Oh, I'm horribly sorry about that. So, if this picture ends up looking good, I want you to remember that. That I, there was a point in this drawing where I looked at her and said she looks like the Sphinx in, in, in Egypt. Just to prove that we can have something that looks horrible in our minds. It looks horrible, but we turn it into something not horrible. And if you can remember that little lesson, it's going to make you continue drawing without stopping, okay? Okay, so on this side, we have the nostril right in here. By the way, this is a 4B pencil. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the paper right now. I'm just trying to draw certain shapes that I see. So if the eyes here, it looks like there's a little shading that comes almost right to the corner of the eye. And then that shading also kind of is what carries over here. So the shading's here. This is going to be the eyelid, which actually has some eye shadow on it. And then above the eyelid, it's also more shadow. And then above that is the eyebrow. So the eyebrow kind of comes up this way. And it's going to come down to about here somewhere. Again, look at how this looks nothing like the, the picture. In my mind, this looks nothing like the picture. There might be some similarities that you're seeing, but I'm trying to just be hyper-focused on one little aspect. So looking at the nose, I'm going to imagine that somewhere in here is a nostril. Okay. Likewise, over on the other side, there's going to be a little nostril here. And again, like I said, if this ends up turning out to be really, uh, really nice drawing, then I want this to be a perfect lesson for, for me and for you watching that uh, that you don't let doubt, self-doubt, 
control you. Because at this stage, especially, there's a lot of self-doubt. So now I'm going to try and look at the corner of the mouth to the nose. It starts about there. It looks like it comes at this sort of this, this angle, right? Somewhere over here. Right in here. And then comes down. Okay. That's going to be the top of the lip. Kind of comes up this way. Top of the lip up here. Looks like it just kind of ra slowly ramps up to right in here. Looks like the angle might be a little bit high but again I'm not I'm not push, pushing too hard so this will all be adjusted okay so that's about the mouth area over here I might have to drop this down a little bit because I'm feeling and I'm using trying to use feeling a lot it just feels like it needs to be a little lower right in here So again, this is all going to be adjusted. It's just how how uh, proportionate is everything. And again, if this is going to be the chin, we said this will be about the chin down in here. Okay. And at this stage, about the first hour or so, we're laying in all the features. So it's almost like Again, I'm not a trained artist. I'm all self-taught, so the way I always thought of it is sort of like a coloring book. It's almost like you're making a, a coloring book, you know, where it's just outlines of things. Oh. All right. I have about 24 minutes more to go. So, again, we're just, I'm constantly going back and forth. I'm looking now at the eyebrows here and the eyes here, how much space to this side. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take a measurement. We know this is the top of the head. We know the eyes are supposed to be about halfway from the top of the head down to the chin. So let me go from the chin to the eyes. Eyes to the top. So look, it looks like it has to be a little bit higher. Up in here. See how we're adjusting? So we're adjusting it up now, which is fine with me because the bigger I make it, the uh, less I have to worry about squeezing features in some are small. Okay, so that's the eyes to the top of the head. Um, 
the chin to the nose is about the nose to there. So I'm going to compare that with my pencil holding it up. Yep, that's about right. And then I want to take a diagonal measurement, maybe at the side of the face where the eyes are, the eyes to the side, and compare that to the chin. It almost looks like the side of the face is the same as the chin to the bottom of the eyebrows. So if I'm going to say that's about the bottom of the eyebrows, I'm going to put my fingers where the chin is, tilt it, and that's about the width. So something's wrong here. Something's a little bit wrong. Let me take another look here and see. The eye to the edge of the face at the eye line is the chin okay that's n not quite as far it's almost like well that's not good that's not good see you're seeing me struggle here I am off on something because it looks like that should be the length of the eyes to the chin which would mean the chin which means my proportions are way off here. The chin to the nose, that's correct. Okay, so if that's correct, and that angle is okay, this angle might be off. That angle's about right. So for some reason, why am I, uh... I'm thinking that chin might have to go down even more. I might have to, uh... Hmm. I might have to ignore what I'm seeing and just bait, go on what I'm feeling. Kind of go with intuition. Which is very scary. Let me just see something. I'm just gonna... I'm trying to look at the distance where I think the eyebrow might be and where the eye might be. And just take some measurements here. That's too... That's too long. Okay, hold on one sec. I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm just going to pause it real quick. Alright, I'm back. So I, I didn't make any changes. I've just been staring at this picture off camera for a while. Um, and I don't know what is what is going on but I'm just going to and so what's probably gonna happen is we're just gonna see how this is going to change as we do the drawing so as I continue with the drawing I'm sure there's gonna come a point where we're gonna go wait a minute something's wrong and then it'll hit me and then I'll see um, but it looks like for some reason, I am not seeing why the face is uh, too short. If I drop the chin down lower, this is gonna, it's gonna be too big. This proportion's correct. This is the hair up in here. This is the hair up in here. 
So I'm just drawing these things to kind of give me a, an idea. Now granted, this eyebrow is going to be higher. Let's say the eyebrow is going to be a little bit higher. So maybe if I just kind of slowly draw some hair and stuff, I can get an idea. told you this is going to be a hard drawing for me and it's not disappointing it is exactly like I thought it was going to be the pain in my butt but what's driving me on is this constant need to try and improve this constant knowing deep down that I'm gonna be able to figure out these problems that I'm having. It's like a puzzle, trying to solve this puzzle. Right? We're solving the puzzles. So I'm just going to go by what I'm feeling and go from there. And if we got to make adjustments as we go on, then we'll make some adjustments. Okay. But this is why I'm doing this channel. This is me being real. Me showing you exactly all the struggles. That I go through. Look how way off I was here. I was seeing the shirts way down here. Meanwhile, I think it's... We've brought it up. So that's interesting. At one point I thought it was going to be this big and I'm shrinking it down. I wonder if that's what's throwing me off. Me shrinking it down. So I'm just putting in some shading. just to get an idea where things are going to be So the eyebrows 
start over here. This eyebrow starts over here. I had too much space in between the eyebrows. And there's hair up in here. All right, I'm, I can already tell this is gonna be a long drawing. So I'm gonna give you guys a big pat on the back if you stick through and watch this one. Watch me struggle, but I, I, I kinda want you to watch me struggle because it shows you exactly what I go through. Again, I'm just trying to still lay everything in here. Not trying to draw so much the hair as I am trying to just draw shapes. the hair. So we have this by the hand. Now is that still where the hand's going to be? Looks like it has to come, has to be adjusted a little bit because now where the nose is, the fingers down a little bit, down over here. this way, comes down by the fingers, and then it's going to cut across the hand, out that way, that's the hand, more hair up in here. hair that's going to be underneath here. This is kind of where we said the fingers are going to be. That first finger and the other one right in here. So that'll be the little shape there. And then the neck comes down right like this. And then shirt. Oh gosh darn it, I keep doing that. Sorry you were out of camera a little bit. Alright. So I'm going to say maybe the shirt now comes this way. Okay, so our composition just rose up a little bit. See that? We're actually a little We raised it up some.
Look how long this has taken me. It's for an hour. I've been struggling with this thing. I knew this was going to be hard. Why did I do this to myself? Self doubts. They're a killer. So I'm just kind of trying to just draw some where the hair is going to go. I'm not drawing hair, I'm just giving myself an idea of what the overall picture is going to look like. Okay, so now my layout's about there. I'm just going to keep staring at this picture and seeing what may have to change. Am I happy with the eye shape, the eye placement, looking at the eyelids, looking at the space between the eyelid and the eyebrow? this space here okay so the nose I'm not too sure about yet this is going to be the underside Top of the nose is going to be this area up in here. It's going to be a highlight off on that side. And I'm, so I'm trying to lay down just some light shading now. This is all going to be shaded, this side plane here. dark on this side right by the ear can you see that it's even darker over here we know this is the side plane of the head I see it really dark over here this is all going to be hair and whatnot up here is going to be all shadow this is going to be all in shadow. It's definitely a little brighter around the mouth area.
under the mouth, shadow, and here, shadow under here, Right, almost done with the uh, layout here. We got three minutes or so. I'm not sure how much of these fingers I want to start messing with at this point. Maybe I'll just try and get the basics down. What I see, maybe a finger there. That comes up here. There's another finger here, which comes up. here there's this little shape and then it comes down to here all right see how it doesn't really look like a hand or anything but it's uh it will i think when we keep messing with it for now, let's just worry about the face, placement, eyebrows, eyes, and visualizing the shading. And then when I come back here uh, on the next segment, we will begin smoothing this out and starting to make it look realistic okay all right let me um be back all right I'm back so this obviously is giving me a lot of problems. Um, I think, and hopefully I won't regret this, but I'm pretty sure this eye is a little too far out. Um, it kind of looks to me okay, but my eyes are, or my, my measurements are telling me that this is a little, it's too far out here. So I'm gonna, sort of do the unthinkable and I'm gonna erase this whole eye and I'm gonna hope I don't regret this but this just shows for you watching this especially if you're a beginner that sometimes we have to erase and it's okay especially at this stage if we, if we, if we think something's wrong this is the time to correct it and not wait until we get too far down the line. So, I'm going to keep the shape about the same, but I'm going to bring it in ever so slightly. say that's the end right there so let's just see what happens here let's just draw the eye in and we'll see how much it changes and I'm really 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 hoping this drawing turns out good because something like this 
is going to be very, very beneficial to see how something that I clearly messed up on can be fixed. So I'm going to draw the pupil in up here. Shade this in. And I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if this is also going to somehow correct all the issues, the measurement issues I seem to be having. How things just didn't seem to be adding up and I just could not figure out what was going on, I'm now hoping that this is going to somehow correct that. Okay, so if I I'm have to readjust the eyebrow. I'm looking at the camera, it looks proportionate to me. This angle over here, I noticed, is going to have to be different. All right, so that uh, I think I'm. I think I'm okay with that. I think that looks a lot better. And this is going to look really good on time lapse. When I do the time lapse video, we'll really be able to see how that little change was, uh, how, it's, how it affected everything. Okay. So. Maybe what we'll start doing now is we'll start uh, blending in a little bit, working on the face and adding some realism to this. Because right now, it's just the lay in, it's sort of still the lay in. This is now hour number two, is when I like to start blending. If I do it correctly, then it's going to really, really look good. So just watch how this starts to change. By the way, I'm using what I'm using is it's actually rolled up newspaper. You could use a uh, blending stump like this and do the same thing. Uh, I don't know why I don't. I've just used these newspapers before, probably because I like the fact that I've repurposed uh, junk mail. I know I already mentioned it, but I just want to once again say thank you to everybody that subscribed. Um, this channel is new and uh, I'm really enjoying hearing from you guys and interacting with you. It's uh, 
something that really makes my day. So thank you guys so much. Whether you're an artist or someone that wants to learn art or just likes watching this kind of stuff get created, uh, I try and have something for everybody here. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the picture. This is actually um, one of the more difficult things for me because when I'm looking at the picture, there's not any clear indications of where some of the shadows are. So I'm kind of shading where I see is a little darker, but I'm also trying to also shade based on my limited knowledge of the human form. You know, I know that this side is going to is turning away from what appears to be the light, so I'm making it darker. I mean, we could see right here on her cheek that this part is definitely gets dark, but I'm still trying to be mindful of shadows and where things go. So what happens is we're blending all this charcoal in. The charcoal we've already put on the paper, we're blending it in with this piece of newspaper, this blending stump. And then we're going to also use the eraser to start pulling out highlights and whatnot. See how it makes the, it adds sort of a cool texture to the, the picture. I think that's so neat. All right. And all the blending, all this stuff is going to be refined as I we add some more value. We're just kind of knocking everything down, smoothing it out at this point. And I like to leave the face sort of like this. I mean, and you know, like work on the face and then I'll start slowly trying to do the hair and stuff. I mean, I guess I could kind of do this with the hair right now just to get something on there. This, this won't be bad. Okay. And I'm just going to tone up the hands real good rub all that charcoal in.
Okay. All right. Now, on to operation, make this look better and not so unfinished. So now I'm going to look at my reference picture and try and focus on individual parts. So let's start going on the eyes here. Alright, so I zoomed in there. Now I'm really going to try and look at these subtle shapes. In fact, let me switch to my 2B pencil. 2B is a little finer. It gives me, I feel like I get a little more control. Okay, and then let me be mindful of the eyelid. And then what really will start bringing it out is when we start doing stuff like this, where we start taking out these highlights, or where the, where the spots are lighter. You know, it's a little lighter. Right on the eyelid. the white of the eyes that's a little too white right now for me let me knock this back down and using my kneaded eraser I'm just going to kind of shape the eyes a little bit better And a lot of it's going back and forth, back and forth, erasing, taking away, looking at the eye, I see it's a little lighter on this side. And then there's a, there's a line bag under the eye. So instead of me trying to draw a line, I'm going to see if I can just use my eraser like this and erase everything underneath it. See that? So I, see how I kind of created that bag right there? But see, I can't have this line just sitting like that. So I have to kind of fade out the rest so it all kind of evens out. See that? 
and then I can kind of slowly try and soften it by blending in again. This is where it's iron. You, you almost feel like you're drawing with your eraser. I'm just taking my eraser. I'm forming little points with it. And then I'm just slowly rubbing it to take off some value. Now, just looking at the shape here, I think this eyebrow needs to change. I'm trying to look at the space now between above the eye, and I think this is going to change. It might, it might lengthen the forehead a little bit. And then uh, let's bring out a little highlight in the eyes. That usually starts making things look more realistic. Hopefully that wasn't too blurry on my camera. If it was, I really apologize. I'm still trying to do my best here with this filming and drawing at the same time thing. This is a little too hard here, this line for the eyelid. So I'm going to try and take this out a little bit. And very, very carefully just back in. Just like that. Making sure that I keep a little bit of light up here. Don't want to spend too much time on it right now because uh, for those of you who have been watching me, you'll know that I'm going to jump back and forth and 
do a lot of different things. So we'll just stay, keep that eye like that for right now. And uh, move on maybe to the next eye. This side looks like uh, it, it gets real light right above the eyelid, right in here. On top of the eyelid, I could see right in here, there's a little highlight, but then it gets darker as it, the form turns. So this is darker in here but not as dark on this side okay And hopefully I can make this look as good as the other eyes I've drawn because the eyes usually stand out. That's what people look at when they see a drawing and what helps make it real or realistic. Looking, uh, it's looking pretty good. Okay, there's a little tiny crease right here. Don't want to make it too dark. under the eye where it's a little bit darker. I know it's darker here. Right up on this cheekbone I could see it's lighter. So I'll erase it and then I'll very lightly blend to kind of knock it back down a little bit. Okay. So again, I'm not going to work too much on the eye just yet. I just want to slowly start rendering this drawing. So we're slowly bringing it to life. We're going to need to do something about this nose right now. I'm. Uh, this is definitely a challenge for me because we're actually looking up at the nose. It's not, uh, it's a different angle than I've done. Like I said, I'm challenging myself with this drawing purposely. I'm, I'm purposely putting myself in this situation that's very, uh, Very challenging. So right on the this part of the nose, it's going to be a highlight. Okay. 
that's going to be the brightest part. This part's lighter, but it won't be quite as bright, so I'm going to knock this back down. I'm just trying to define little bits. We're trying to see that we should be able to see a little bit of light on this side of the nostril. We're going to see a little bit here. Maybe I can use my little mono eraser. It's right in here we should be able to see something right in here. By the way, anybody that, uh, since I have a lot of different subscribers and not everybody is a uh, artist, some of you are actually musicians. And uh, if you notice, I try and keep uh, most of my videos here with uh, some sort of piano music. If anybody plays piano or you want to, you want me to look at some of your songs and maybe have them as part of my playlist so I include it with uh, you know my future drawings you know some of my future time-lapse videos or the background music of this real-time video if, if, if you want me to use your music let me know just contact me send me an email or send me a message here on YouTube and uh, let me know and I will be more than happy to take a look at your uh, whatever you want me to consider a lot of the, the music that you hear I just it's something that calls out to me that uh, I feel fits in good with uh, the vibe that I'm trying to set here So uh, I'm more than happy to listen to your stuff. And who knows, maybe we'll have it part of a video here and of course give you the credit. So we're just trying to work on the nostrils here. I gotta be very, 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 very careful. I don't wanna make it, I'm trying to pay really um, close attention to the form. And not trying to make it all just you don't just you don't just color in black. It's not all black. It's darker in certain areas than other areas. So you gotta really observe the form for that kind of thing. So and I mentioned this before, and I'm going to have a separate video on it eventually, but it's all about, the secret to drawing is all about observation. You know, right above this nostril, if you look closely at the picture, you're going to see there's a little black spot right here. So I'm just going to try and lighten a little bit around this area. Actually, I'll just kind of... right in here it's a little bit darker and so I want to try and somehow represent that so I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about maybe if I can just slowly erase around it ever so slightly Race and then I can put back. If 
this nose is going to take me some time because it's because of the angle. I don't know if I captured that, but again, I think this is all going to be refined as the drawing progresses. As we slowly, we kind of we kind of do this in passes, at least I do. So it's going to go it's going to go through stages of realism. Where it doesn't look that great right now, but as we step through it, we'll do one pass, it'll get a little bit better. Then we'll do another pass, and then it'll get a little bit better after that. So on and so forth. So if anybody has any questions or anything, please feel free to leave me a comment. I know very few people are going to, well, I was going to say very few people in relation to the amount of views that this video is going to get is probably going to watch to the very, very end. So if you're one of those people that watches the very, very end, you are amazing. I'm still not sure if this is the right format for me to do. If I should be doing these long three hour videos or if I should be breaking these up into little 45 minute videos. You know, one video for the layout, one video for the shading. I don't know. I'd be curious to hear what you think. If you're watching this video right now and hearing me ponder these questions, let me know what, what you think. What would be the best format? I, I don't know. All right, I got to keep remembering that we're zoomed in here so we don't. Uh... There we go. All right, and I have about 20 minutes left, maybe a little less because I have to go pick up my kids from school. Apparently, I have to be a parent and do these things like. School pickup. Oh no. All right, let me blend this in up here a little bit. All right. So we're going to have a little bit of light right above the eyebrow in here because then the hair looks like it's going to come this way. Lighter. 
lighten the nose a little bit. It's not quite as dark where I had it. But I do want to keep this part real bright right here, so I gotta make sure it's still dark enough around that highlight. But also I notice the tip of the nose is gonna be a little brighter. So there's a shape here, comes right to the end. Right in here. So it's going to be a lot of delicate little subtle changes, I think. This part's going to be darker right here. Just like, again, this part's darker right here. And if I want to, I could probably add just a little bit of charcoal, just like this. And then rub it in. So it's not as dark as the, as the nostril. Okay. And it's all about observation. It's all about seeing little things. You know, it's, it's a little bit dark right here on this corner of the nostril. And it comes, it comes like this. And it comes up in this sort of shape see that but it's not as dark as that so I'm just gonna then blend it soften it out a little bit and then if I need to use my eraser to slowly take it down a little bit And this could be quite boring to watch. It's probably one of the reasons why not everybody makes these three hour videos. But it's, it's very satisfying to do. Which is why I encourage people to do art because it's very very satisfying and it's fun it's fun to see how your brain sees things and translates things it's fun seeing how you can take something that you're just looking at and try and make it three-dimensional all right so I'm trying to look at the forehead now of space that this hair creates. I don't want to crowd the face too much with a lot of distraction, so I'll just erase that part out for now. Notice the hair. This part looks like it's pretty good. Comes down in this sort of way.
right up in here is really dark. Here's something that uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a, a challenge all in itself trying to do because just like drawing's all about observation, this is all about observing the little dark shapes and things that you, we find in the hair. If you just kind of nail the dark shapes and the general flow of the hair we can nail the likeness a lot better. Okay. I don't want to worry too much yet. This little hair that kind of flicks up in here. leave it right now like this we'll still kind of narrow down the face Again, I'm sorry. I'm kind of, kind of quiet here. I'm, uh, this is what happens when you try and film and draw at the same time. There's a lot going in my mind. Normally, I wouldn't be. Normally, I wouldn't be. Um, what am I trying to say? English! I can't English right now. Normally if I'd be drawing, I'd be listening to music, I'd be in the zone, so to speak. And uh, that's something that doesn't really happen when I'm filming because I'm having to think, oh, am I, am I, am I not uh, communicating my thoughts correctly? Am I, you know, I gotta keep looking back to see if, if my drawing is in camera, in the, in the view of the camera. All these little things that I don't normally have to think about. 
I'm forced to think about now. Okay, so let me add just a little bit of tone to the lips. And then underneath the lips, it's usually darker, so. I'm just gonna add a little bit of charcoal here. And then try and smooth it out. See the shadow kind of comes down this direction. Hopefully you can see that too. Um, it does get, this has to be darker than this part. So right in here is a little bit darker. So I'm going to kind of rub that in, blend that in. And then this is obviously the darkest part of the cheek. All right, what are we at? Six minutes. All right. Just about ready to call another break. And I think what we'll do is start working on the hair and the hands. like right around here around the nose I should lighten it up just a little bit to find this outer nostril area and we don't want it that bright so we can knock it back bring it forward a little bit Okay. Okay. All right. So this is about hour number two or so wrapping up. I think we're getting somewhere pretty good. I'm liking the proportions and how it's looking. Um, obviously, we still have a lot more to go. Uh, I'm going to have to work on the hand. So maybe when we come back, we'll work on the hand a little bit. We'll work on the hand. We'll start finishing the rest of the hair and then we'll do one final pass, maybe in time lapse of just cleaning up things, okay? So be right back. Okay, I'm back. So let's zoom in on the hand because I think we're gonna work we're going to do the hand, we're going to do the hair, and then we're going to do one 
final pass in time lapse, probably just to tighten everything up. So let's do this hand. I got a bunch of energy now. I feel good. I'm liking the way the drawing is coming together, I think. A lot of those self-doubts that I had are slowly dissipating. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, I'm just gonna start looking at where some of the lines and folds and stuff are. And I'm just gonna draw them in here as I see them. So I want you to follow along looking at the picture so you can maybe see the lines that I'm making and coincide those lines with the picture, what I'm looking at here. Okay, so we have the pinky or the, yeah, that is the pinky. This is the pinky right here, which comes out this way. Nail comes out somewhere in here. Trying to make sure I get the pads of the finger down. That's pretty important. And then Behind this is this part of the palm here. Let's see. It's a dark area in here. So I'm trying to, I don't really know what I'm drawing. I just know that I'm just looking at the shapes and trying to replicate shape, shapes that I see. That's all. So right on the other side of this pinky, comes down, this is a finger here with a nail, and that comes up here. Underneath the chin, another finger, comes out, another nail. This is where it's getting really uh, hard for me to see in here. But I think once we start doing some erasing and stuff like that, this will this will start to improve a little bit.
Now, let me see. That finger is, see, this is too short right here, I just noticed. So, we can erase it. That finger looks like it comes out to about over here. Right about in this area. It's got a nail. Comes up. that pad. It looks kind of like a fat finger right there. And it comes down and then this looks like it comes over to the side here. Now the fingers are obviously going to be darker than the face. So there's the chin. Okay. fingers. I'm still not liking it. So I'm going to erase. Keep erasing your drawing until you get it the way you like. So I'm seeing shadow in here, there's a dark spot in here, Alright. Little spot for the nail. Okay. Hopefully we could turn these shapes into something that looks sort of like a hand. So, finger, pinky here, is going to have a little more light on it. That was my electric pencil sharpener, which I don't really like that much, to be honest with you. I kind of just prefer the old plastic twisty one. All right and the finger behind it down here 
looks kind of light where it's catching the light. It's very hard to get the fingernails. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to really make that show up the way I want it to. Do my best though. Right now I'm just kind of delete, deleting, kind of erasing everything. And I think, you know, hopefully when, it, the, when the drawing's done, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, the, the, the focus isn't going to be just on the hands. It's going to be on the face and the hands will just translate as being hands. Remember how I was saying my confidence level was picking back up? Now it's starting to crash again. <sighs> starting to crash and burn. And that's just because I'm actually doing something that I'm not confident in. I'm not I'm not very proficient in. I've always stayed away from drawing hands, so I picked this drawing on purpose to make me face that fear. So, I think these lines are just a little too defined, too dark. Shouldn't have that many lines when it comes to these things. Should be very subtle, very soft and that is not what I have here, so I'm just using my eraser and hopefully going to kind of knock that back. Knock everything back a little bit. See, this should not be very thick. It's a good thing about a kneaded eraser is I can just kind of pinch it until it gets the right thickness that I want. Just lightly going over it. I'm just trying to slowly take out some of those really dark darks. And I'm 
not sure if I'm able to really convey that yet. bringing in the color a little bit, toning up the skin. So just like we did with the face, a lot of this is going to be back and forth. I know this finger here is the lightest because it's facing forward and then again this underneath is going to catch light. Fingers behind it are all in shadow. There's definitely shadow. In here. And I don't know if I can quite get that nail down in here. There's a there's a white area right in here. This is the last time I'm going to be drawing hands for a while. I'm actually debating if I should just do time lapse on this part because I am not very vocal right now. Because I am trying to struggle with these hands. So let me, uh, let me time lapse a little bit and uh, work on these. Okay, I think that's enough for the hands for right now. Let me step back out a little bit. I think we'll come back to the hands more when we do our final pass when we eventually uh, start finalizing things. So I'm 
just kind of slowly gonna I mean the whole hand thing right now it's a big mess um, but I think maybe I'm hoping once I get some of the the darker hair values in here you know we start indicating the hair uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe it'll all start to, to come together trying to hopefully get the the overall shape of the hair you know some of the hair comes out here and it's real real wispy you know maybe have little individual strands that are just coming out Up here, it's darker in here. But up top, it's a little, little lighter. Over here, it looks like it's. A little dark in this area, kind of up and around where the eyebrows are. And then we have this curl, this long curl. Now here's the ear lobe. This is where we wanted the ear. And right in here, it's real dark it looks like. See that? And then we have this hair that comes down sort of like this, comes back down, comes out, curls. So I'm just going to maybe indicate some curls over here. See that? Nothing fancy. I'm hoping that this is going to eventually sort of translate into the drawing. Now, this over here, all underneath the ear, Looks like it's all dark. All dark. Okay. Got a dark shirt on. And then she also has, looks like a strap, I'm assuming maybe comes down that's going to separate the darker shirt from this vest and it's going to separate the hair which is curling over here and the rest of this is all going to be dark this is really dark some really dark areas over here
Just use my finger to kind of give it a little depth, a little volume for the hair. Kind of just smooths it in, makes it a little more fuller. I'm not going to worry down here. We're going to leave that white, I think. I think this one we're going to leave just without a background. Okay. All right. Now, here here's my thoughts. So that hand cannot be the same. It's too close to what we're saying as the hair. So I either have to make this hair darker or I got to make that hand lighter. And I'm thinking I might start by going dark on the hair just to add contrast. So right now I'm going to look in the hair to just see where these darker values are. Right on the side of the face here, it's dark. Kind of dark in here. This curl over the hand. Some dark spots. And maybe now that I'm getting the kind of kind of indicating where the hair is, then maybe I can start bringing the hand back out, like in here. Like this. Like this. There we go. See, now the hand is starting to maybe come together a little bit. Now 
looks like the hair does kind of come very close to that eye. So I'm trying to add a little more volume here for the hair. But I, I don't really know if I like that because again, I don't want to make the hand I don't want to confuse this all with the hand. This is supposed to be the hand in here. So there has to be a clear separation between the hand and the hair. So I have to look at shapes like this. Shapes for the where the hand is right in here. There has to be a clear separation. So I'm just looking at the hair now, some of the shapes that it's making on the forehead area. trying to indicate some of the curls over on this side. Again, I've never done curly hair like this before, so I'm kind of learning as I go. I'm just making sort of curly motions with the pencil. Now I'm going to use uh, my compressed charcoal here, kind of just give a value to the shirt. Again, this looks like it's all going to be darker than this side over here.
All right. We're almost there. We are almost there. I think we're we're almost at the stage where we can just kind of do time lapse to finish it. I think we saw how we drew all this all freehand, how we got our proportions down. I'm fairly happy with capturing her likeness. I think we did okay in that. I think it looks like her. And capturing the likeness for me is always a good plus. You always want to kind of be able to recognize who you're drawing, right? So. So I think we did good on that. But we're going to have to step through now and clean it up, add some finishing details. So with that being said, we're going to time lapse the rest of this. And uh, if I don't say otherwise, thank you all for watching. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the finished product or finished portrait. I don't know why I said product. All right, here we go. All right, friends. Well, that's it for this portrait drawing. I hope you really enjoyed sitting here and watching me do it and seeing me struggle through all this. If you like this sort of thing, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I look at all my comments as well if you leave me a comment. Feel free to check out these other videos you see on the screen right now. And with that being said, I'll have another portrait coming out soon. Thanks again.